Hello lovelies, welcome back to the channel. It is time finally for another Spooky Box Club unboxing and I have three of them here. I have been dying to open them. They've just been sitting there. I've been going insane. I finally have a chance to do it. So that's what we're doing today. So the boxes we have today are, ooh, box 81 in the graveyard, which I am already excited for. Box 82, which is the seance. And box 83, which is Lost in Wonderland, which intrigues me. Let's have a little look at the little stickers. This already looks very my vibe. Got the seance, and then Lost in Wonderland. So we are starting with box 81, obviously. <laughs> Today's one was just like, I was getting ready and I was enjoying how my makeup was going and then it just kind of went downhill and I couldn't figure out what to do with my clothes or my hair or anything and I just got fed up and gave up. So here we are, I, I don't even know, but spooky boxes will cheer me up. Oh, I can see the pin, the pin's cute. We'll do that first since it's right there. Oh, it's just a little skilla dude. How cute is he? He matches my jacket. Lovely, okay. Off to a good start. We have a little like polka dotty bag here that's intriguing me, so we'll take a peek in here. Oh, this is just candy, okay. We've got three somethings. Just three candies, I don't know. Ooh. 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 What is this? That's cute. It's like a little sort of like, I guess, tote bag kind of thing, but it also has like a shoop. So it's like a little sack. I don't know if it has like a specific purpose, like something you're meant to put in here. Um, it says rest your bones. So I don't know if it's like a nighttime kind of thing, but it's just really cute. And yet it does have like the little handle. So you could just use it as a little bag. I guess that'd be like really cute for sleepover or something. I don't know. I just, I really like this. I like that it's like velvety and it has the little drawstring and everything. That's really cute. What is this? I'm assuming this is either like a bookmark or would it be a magnet? No, I think, mm, could it be a magnet? A bookmark or a magnet or something. And it says coffin creeper and it has little skeletons on it. It's really cute. Uh, we have a crying necklace. Oh, I didn't really know what that meant, but it literally, that's actually really cute. <laughs> And I am a big crybaby, so. And I'm, I forgot to put on jewelry today, so let's do that. There, good. I like the little, like, sort of dangly teardrop. Ooh, we have a 2022 Monster Girls wall calendar. Okay, hold on. This is what we're working with. Oh, cool. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I want to go through all of them or if I want it to be a surprise. I guess I could go up to like where we've got to. Oh, we've got like Phantom of the Opera. A cute little like werewolf girl. And then we're in May now, which is crazy. I'm going to the mornings. That's really cute. I'll, I'll save the rest for when the time comes. But I want to see my birthday. No, no. I'll wait. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, okay. So we got the last thing in the box. It says, my old haunt, a gothic room garland. Only open when ready to carefully assemble your garland to prevent tearing or damaging the delicate letters. Oh, okay, so I guess it probably says my old haunt like that. That's really cute. I can't wait till I have somewhere to hang this. Oh, I really liked all that. I really, I think my favorite's probably the bag. And I also really like the necklace. It is really cute. Okay, so we got the custom made rest your bones black velvet drawstring bag. Uh-huh. Custom made spooky skeleton enamel pin, yep. Custom made crying necklace, stainless steel, yes. Monster Girls wall calendar, yes. Coffin Creeper bookmark, bookmark, yes. My old haunt gothic garland, ready to string and hang, yes. And candy of the month, yes. Okay, so we got all of that. Okay, we're on to box number two, which is the seance. Okay, wee -hoo! Oh. Well, that's cute. Right off the bat, I'm seeing what appears to be... Okay, so for, right, okay. So first of all, we have some Spiritual Sencha Pure Green Tea. Very nice. It is just straight up green tea. And to go with it, the cutest little tea strainer I ever did see. Hang on, just a one... Just a, just a fucking second. Oh, cute. Okay, so the actual strainer itself is a little fucking teapot, which is just adorable. And then the end of it looks like this. How cute is that? Oh, I love this. Little ghosts haunted tea shop. Tea leaf readings. Tassimancy. That's so cute. Oh, to go with the tea. We have our candy and it is a lollipop again. It's a little cute little blue one. What do I grab next? Okay, this. Oh, okay. 
So we have got some sticky spirit notes, which are really cute. I was kind of worried that, like all of them were going to look like this and I was like, I don't know how practical that is. Like where do you write anything? But it is like blank on all the other ones. So there is space. If you use like a little silver pen or something, that would be super cute. And yeah, there's just like a little planchet shaped like sticky notes. That's so cute. I love stuff like this. I wish I had like more reason to use things like this. I wanted to use like some of my cute spooky box club stationery, like for like house applications and stuff. But then I was like, Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Try to appear somewhat normal. But yeah, really cute. Ooh, is this a little sticker? It is a little sticker. Look how cute. Lovely. Oh, it's so small. Ooh, we have the medium necklace. Oh, ooh, oh. <gasps> That's real cool. Oh God, okay. Do you see? <gasps> how cool is that? I really like that. It's a really fun design. I like all the little sparkles and stuff on the hands and everything. That's really pretty. Okay, we have, ooh, we have, it looks like this is meant to go on your wall because it has one of these things and it is just like a plain planchet. This is very cute. I feel like I would have the urge to decorate it in some way just because like there's nothing on it. I feel like I want something on there, but it is really cute and I like that it already has the doodad to hang it on the wall. And then there's one last thing in here, which is some, ooh. Oh, it's pretty. I don't, it's like, I don't know if it's like for the wall or what, but it's like a really nice, like raven tapestry thing. How nice is that? I love that. Oh, that's going straight up whenever I get a place. I love it. Okay, let's see. So we got, oh, it's an altar cloth. I'm putting it on the wall. So it's the Morrigan altar cloth. And it's also suitable for tarot, runes, or casting the bones. That's really cool, but I do kind of just want to display it up on the wall. Uh, custom made sticky spirit notes. Yep. The medium necklace. Yep. Wooden planchet wall hanging. Yep. Organic loose leaf tea sampler. Yes. And the Tassimancy teapot infuser. Yes. And then the, the lollipop. Okay, so that's everything from that one. And we're on to. Oh, I forgot. I didn't. I forgot the last one, Lost in Wonderland. Okay, excited for that. Let's see. Oh, we got more tea. Mad Hatter's Brew re Relaxation Tisin? Tisin? Tis I don't know, some relaxation tea. It has chamomile, Egyptian mint, and lemon balm. Oh, cute. Ooh, ooh, ah. So there are two pins in this one and they're both very pretty and they match. We've got the teapot and the teacup. How cute. Those are so pretty. This is making me want to play Alice Madness Returns again. Although like, game kind of drags on, but I do, <laughs> despite that, I enjoy it. And these are just kind of giving me the vibes. Oh, cute, okay. Oh, we have two little heart-shaped lollipops. How cute. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, we have a It's Only a Dream charm bracelet. I am intrigued by. Oh. That's pretty. And I feel like I don't have enough bracelets. I'm not even gonna attempt to put this on right now. I, I remember the last time we did this. I, I do remember you guys give me suggestions on how to do it, but I don't think I have the tools around me right now. So I'm gonna leave that for now, but that is very pretty. Oh, it's like a big hair bow and it has like a cute little skull stitched onto one of the tails of it. And it's just like a big old slide. That would be so cute. Like it, it's very not this outfit, but like in general, that is so cute. What can I wear? I have a dress or two that this would really work with. Okay, cute. I really, really like this. It's like not today's vibe, but it is my vibe in general. We have a Cheshire Cat and White Rabbit letter set. Four lilac envelopes, eight sheets of letter paper, four cute postage stamp style stickers. That's so cute. I don't know what I'll use this for. I don't, I'm not really a letter writing person because my handwriting is really crap, but I want to find some way to utilize this because it looks adorable. Oh, we seem to be done to the last things in the box, which just seem to be two little prints. Oh, it's an eat me, drink me set. That's really sweet. And if I did end up painting my future office like pink and doing the sort of like Victorian-y theme, then like these in cute little like frames would maybe be nice. Dark Alice soft velvet hair bow, yes. It's only a dream charm bracelet, yes. Cheshire Cat and White Rabbit letter set, yes. Twisted Tea Party teapot enamel pin and Twisted Tea Party teacup enamel pin, yes. 
Relaxation tea, yes. Eat me art print, drink me art print, yes. And the candy of the month, yes. So we've got all of that, very good, okay. Okay, so that was it for those boxes. I think my favorite was maybe the second one, actually. I thought it would be the first one, and I did like the first one, but I feel like out of all of them, the second one was maybe my favorite. It was really cute. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to toot along, but before I do, I'm going to remind you to check out my Patreon, which is down in the description box below. It is a great way to support this channel, it is a great way to support me, and it is a great way to support the move that will be coming up soon, hopefully, with my darling little baby boy, Sebastian, who I miss very, very much. Also, I still get to visit him and stuff, but I miss having him just around all the time. So yeah, Patreon link is down in the description, along with any other useful links. Do please check it out. I'd really, really appreciate it. I am feeling a little more motivated right now, so I am trying to get the content done, and I hope that you guys will be seeing a bit more of me. I'm working on it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, lovelies.